Well, good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. And today, I'm going to share with you guys another watch review. Now, you guys know I'm a huge watch collector. I've been collecting watches for since I was like 18, 17, 18 years old. I have a huge collection of watches. Some watches that are, you know, basically cheap $20 watches I got when I was really young. Uh, and all the watches all the way up, up, you know, the spectrum there. Again, not into the high-end luxury stuff because I, I can't afford that kind of stuff. And personally, I really don't see the need to really spend a lot of money on a watch. There are so many different watch companies out there where you can get a fantastic watch for a really great price. And so with that being said, you guys know I'm a huge Invicta watch fan. And what I love about Invicta is that they make really big, chunky dive-style watches. So somehow along you know, my history of watch collecting, I really got involved and in, in, in gravitated towards dive watches. Probably my, my favorite type of watch is a dive watch. And, and uh, that could be a huge, big Invicta or a smaller, uh, you know, standard size watch. So with that being said, what I've been doing recently is I've been reaching out to companies, telling them what I do, and asking to get a sample of their product. And a lot of companies have been so generous uh, in sending me products to review. And what's great about that is sometimes there's things that just don't fall into my budget. Other times there's things that just aren't something maybe I could rationalize spending the money on, whether it be at that time or in general. And sometimes I'm just not really into some of the you know certain types of watches. But what's great about watches is that there's something for everybody. And just because I may not like something, it doesn't mean that it's not something that you may really like. So, like I said, what I've been doing is I've been reaching out to companies, and some of the companies you know have been uh, super generous. And some have been very generous. And what I want to say is, you know, a few times I've gotten watches that are like, okay, I appreciate them. This is somebody's really going to like this. And sometimes I'm like, wow, I really like this. And so I reached out to this particular company and it took over a month to get. I didn't think they were going to send me the product, but they did. And I really want to thank them uh, from the folks over at Aquadive. I really, really appreciate your generosity in sending me this watch for my collection and to review my channel to wear, enjoy, and then come back to and re-review. Because one thing I do, guys, you'll notice, is that I don't just do one video and then that call it a day, and that's the end of it. I like to re-review watches. So because you see one watch reviewed, that doesn't mean that in, you know it's over and done with. I'm going to wear it, tell you about the compliments I get six months from now, a year from now, how it's holding up, how the finish is holding up. So you guys have a very accurate idea of what kind of quality you're getting, and you know, is it something that I would that I still personally like, you know, tastes do change. So, um, like I said, Aqua Dive was super generous, and they went ahead and sent me one of their, and I'm going to try to say this, it's the Bathyscape 100. I think I'm saying that right. And again, this is the initial unboxing video. Um, I will do more research about the watch. You guys know I like to throw videos out there, raw, uncut, and unedited. Uh, just everyday guy videos from a guy who's you know, not paid to do this, not sponsored to do this, but just giving you my honest opinion of these products. So uh, first and foremost, I was really blown away when I received the box. It was so big and it was really heavy. I was like, is this even the watch? Well, it was the watch. And so let me go ahead and do an unboxing with you guys right now. Now this thing is heavy, okay? And I gotta say, this is to date the nicest presentation of any watch that I've ever unboxed on my channel, the nicest. And uh, I'm just really happy to share it with you guys. So again, this is a watch by the company Aquadive. It's a German company and they make really higher end, mid to high end um, luxury dive style watches that are designed to hold up and made to some really high standards and really high quality. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like right now. So first you'll see that it comes in a standard cardboard sized box, which is really huge. Um, it does have the Aquadive logo. I know you can't really see that right here. Uh, due to the lighting, and we have a lot of lights on in here, I'll tell you right now. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, that's the best we're going to get right now. So let me go ahead and unbox it. And I was blown away when I unwrapped this thing at how nice the presentation was. You have this kind of cloth on the inside, like, you know, to protect the actual box. This comes out. And then you have your fold down front of the cardboard, and the actual watch box comes out. Very, very nice quality. You have this all solid hardwood. Uh, it, it looks to be like oak. I'm not really sure if it is oak uh, or if it's just a synthetic style, uh, but it is actually hardwood. You have this awesome brushed stainless steel right down the middle and this Aquadive logo. Exceptional hinge quality and of course an awesome push button deployment right in the front to open the watch box. You see it stays closed when turned over. Um, 
really awesome, okay? So let me go ahead and open this bad boy on up. So you go ahead and press the button there, and voila. As far as the box is concerned, on the inside, um, beautiful, beautiful box. Um, again, you have like this synthetic leather. It's padded here. I know you can't really see it on the video. I will re-review this watch at a later date with some uh, under some really bright lights. Of course, you see the interior. It's kind of this concaved uh, uh, inset on the actual uh, box or the box right here. Let me pull the watch out of the way. We'll get to that in just a second. You have your pillow that the watch sits on. And of course, I don't know if you can see that, but there we go. That's a little better. How it kind of uh, kind of uh, sinks down. The watch kind of sits on the inside of that. And of course, this inner piece does come out. And with this particular one, I just got a warranty card with it. But there is a little bit of storage underneath there uh, for a couple extra bands, should you choose to get one. Um, and that's about it, really, for the box. Um, very, very nice quality on the box. I, I have to say I am very, very impressed with the presentation. And again, on the inside here, you can see the chromed out hinges right there. Uh, very, very nice presentation. The nicest box I've received to date. So let's get to the watch now. Now this particular watch did not come on this band. And I just want to state that right off first and foremost. I put this band on it because I had this laying around. Um, um, Aquadive was had told me that they was taking so long to send the watch because they were waiting on a brand new band they had for this watch. But to my disappointment when I received it, and I'm not saying that because it wasn't nice, I'm just more of a bracelet style guy. I don't really like leather or poly bands unless they're on a dress watch. And even then I prefer to have a bracelet version, okay? But nonetheless, I wanted to put this on here to simulate uh, what the watch would look like with the band that they produce. Now the one they make is much, much higher quality than the band I have on here. And I'm sure the company would prefer me to review this with the, the, uh, the it's not, it's a, it's a different type, it's not poly, I'll, I'll tell you about it, it looks like a poly band, it's a different material, uh, something they use. I was going to review it with that, but I just put this on because I wanted to wear it with the, uh, the mesh band. I think it looks a lot better personally because I like, it's just my personal preference, I like a, um, a, a bracelet style band. So it's just, again, personal preference. But nonetheless, um, I will show you what the band looks like. Um, the band is made of a, what they call an, a, uh, they say Isofrain is the company that, the, that they, I guess they, they own this company and makes these bands. I believe it's made of like an isopropylene. I believe that's what it's called. Um, but, you know, again, don't quote me on that. Um, I will re-review this watch with more information at a later date. Today I just wanted to show you what the watch looks like. Uh, again, you have the Isofrain logo on the back of the band. So obviously that's um, uh, a different brand. You could probably buy these bands specifically from that company. And I'll do a little research on that. Um, it does appear to be a very, very nice quality. I know sometimes I always get a little nervous when anything that's made of a, like a polypropylene or, or poly band just because uh, I've seen a lot of them crack over time. Um, I'm not sure if this is something that will outlast polypropylene and something I will review as well in the not too distant future just about band style and band quality. But nonetheless, they sent me one in a kind of a deep royal blue and that's what it looks like. Uh, definitely not something you have to worry about getting wet, that's for sure. Um, this is what sort of the watch would look like. And I'll put this band back on the watch and review it at a later date. But, of course, that's pretty much what it looks like with the band. Um, nothing to really write home about to, with the band because, you know, I mean, if, honestly, if you've seen one poly style or rubber band, you've kind of seen them all. So I was a little disappointed they didn't send me this on a bracelet, but nonetheless, super generous of those guys to send me this watch. And, let's, you know, as far as the watch is concerned, this is a beauty, okay? So, again, just for display purposes, the band that they have for this particular watch, their shark, what they would call a mesh or, like, shark mesh, it looks very similar to this watch. And from this distance, you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference, okay? But theirs is much higher quality, much better materials. But I wanted to wear this, so I threw this thing on it um, last night. So um, let's talk about the watch a little bit. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Again, this is their, I'm going to try to pronunciate this. This is the B-A-T-H-Y-S-C-A-P-H-E. So I believe that's Bathyscape. Uh, Bathyscape 100. And again, I'll, like I said, I'll re-review at a later date. I like to put up the first unboxing, raw, unedited, uncut. Uh, so, again, here's the watch. It measures at 43 millimeters on case diameter, okay? I believe that's a bezel measurement. You do have a unidirectional rotating bezel. The one they sent me here is done in kind of a, I wouldn't call it a royal blue. It's more of like a subdued, I'd say kind of a, more of a washed out blue. Uh, the bezel has that same color, of course. Um, the loom on this watch is absolutely fantastic. I mean, super bright. Um, this watch is 
Also got the screw down crown right here, uh, and you have your day of the month window. Um, this watch is, I would consider a very, very basic style dive watch. The water resistance on this is 3,300 feet or 1,000 meters. Now I am gonna show you what it looks like on the wrist, but before I do, I just wanna go to their website and just read a little bit of the specifics on the watch, just so you guys kinda of know what is powering this watch and a little bit more about it. And I will put a link in the description where you can get this and get a little more information. Now they do make a few different models of this watch and I was hoping they were gonna send me the bronze version uh, because I've been really on a bronze kick lately, but nonetheless, super generous, very happy with the product, wore it today and got several compliments on it. So uh, with that being said, let me go ahead and take a look at uh, their website. And I'll just give you a little bit of information about what's powering this watch and uh, the specifics on the jewels and the vibrations, and we'll see what they have on their website, and I wanna share that with you guys. Then I'll show you more close-ups, and I'll show you what the watch looks like on the wrist. So they make several different versions of this particular watch. They're all about the same price. Um, it's called the Aqua Dive Collection, and it looks like they're all called the Bathyscape. And yeah, hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> they make the Bathyscape 100 GMT, the Bronze, the DLC, the 100 SS, the 100 Blue, which is this one, and the 300 SS and the 500 Twin Barrel. Now, they do make this watch, again, in a 47 millimeter, and I didn't really realize that until I ordered. I might have requested that one, but I wanted them to send me one that they felt comfortable sending and one maybe they wanted uh, to share with their subscribers. This is probably one of their more popular models. Um, so as far as um, the size on this watch, um, I'm going to still read you what they say on their website. So Aquadive Watch Bathyscape 100 Blue. With the Bathyscape 100, we set out to create a new classic with a state-of-art scratch-free ceramic bezel insert, a sports watch that looks the dive machine ready to take. They really need to edit that. A sports watch that looks the. All right, I'm going <laughs> to. It says a sports watch that looks the dive machine Machine ready, one word, to tackle any situation you might want to throw at. All right. <laughs> While it looks straight out of the 60s, it's thoroughly it's a it's a thoroughly modern dive watch with a depth rating of 1,000 meters, okay? The optional, optional machine stainless steel mesh bracelet adds to the retro feel of the watch while ensuring all-day comfort. So there's um, what the mesh would look like. Um, so the tech specs on this one here, it's hours, minutes, seconds, Date at 3 o'clock. The case is German-made and CNC machine solid stainless steel case. Stainless steel screw-down case back. Limited edition of 500 pieces engraved. So let's see which one I got here. Let's take a look here. Let's see what it says on there. Uh, we are looking at... Oh, almost got it here. Oh, very nice. Number 11 of 500. That's cool. One of the earlier ones. Awesome. Very, very generous. Um, okay, so they are limited to 500 pieces. Um, you have a 43 millimeter diameter excluding the crown case diameter, 49 millimeters from lug to lug, 15 millimeters in case height, a water resistance once again of 1,000 meters, 3,300 3, feet, non-helium release valve model. Now, I'm not really sure what that means because this one here does appear to have underneath the bracelet right there a helium release valve. So maybe they make ones that have it and don't. This one appears to have that. Uh, so it is powered by a Swiss-made ETA 2836-2, which is the hour, minutes, and a sweep secondhand. It's a self-winding mechanism with a ball-bearing rotor, date, corrector, stop, second device, regular system. Um, let's see here. It has got a uh, Nova Diac Incrablock shock protection. You have 28,800 28, vibrations per hour, uh, 25 joules in the uh, movement, of course, uh, adjusted in five positions with an individual certificate that accompanies each watch. Now, I didn't get any kind of certificate, so I'm not really sure what that's all about. You guys, remember, I love when you guys comment. If you guys, some, there's some folks out there who know a lot about the mechanics of watches. I just love watches and wearing them. So for me, you know, the movement, I know it's, you know, for people who are really into horology, um, the movement's very, very important. I just want it to last, and from what I've read about this movement, this is a very time-tested, fantastic, very high-end movement. The bezel, once again, 43 millimeters. It's unidirectional, 120 clicks, uh, laser-cut ratcheting springs, scratch-free ceramic insert, engraved with elapsed time markings, 31 millimeter sapphire crystal. 
Um, again, the bracelet, uh, this one says strap bracelet, Aquadive stainless steel bracelet based on vintage Aquadive design with automatic ratcheting dive suit extension uh, and an optional stainless steel mesh bracelet. Uh, that can be had for an extra $99 on the website. Uh, these watches do have a two-year limited warranty and they weigh about 130 grams, excluding the strap and bracelet. So that's just a watch. Um, so that's about it in a nutshell on what powers this watch. Um, for what I read on some websites, the uh, ETA movement in this watch is more of a higher-end movement and is used in a lot of higher-end watches, so it's fantastic. The build quality in this watch, I have to tell you, feels really good. Um, you definitely feel like you're wearing something of high quality. Um, the case is absolutely beautiful. It's very, very simple in design, but it does look very, very retro. And retro, and that's why I wanted to add this band to give you guys an idea of what it looks like with the mesh band. Once again, their band is going to be a much nicer, higher quality band, but nonetheless, it still just it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like, and I think it really sets the watch off. So try to show what that looks like close up here. Again, you get your ratcheting bezel. The clicks feel really good on this. There's there's no slop in the bezel. It's very very tight. Um, you can see the sweep second hand. Hopefully, you can see that. No. No clicks, just sweeping. And the engraved back right here, which you really can't see. Uh, that's about it in a nutshell. The watch is very, very basic. It has a really, really neat retro look. And it, you can just feel the quality in this watch. Now, again, I wish they would have sent that mesh band because I would love to have felt it with the quality of their band. But nonetheless, it gives you the look that I was looking for. Um, what else? Anything else about this watch? Uh, see if they have anything else here. Uh, once again, the ETA movement is also a Swiss-made movement, but what's really interesting about this watch is that although it's a Swiss-made movement, um, it still says German-made on the front. So obviously they took real pride in the fact that it is made in Germany. It is a German watch, and they didn't even want to put Swiss-made on it, even though it is a Swiss-made watch. There it is from the side again. Very, very nice styling. Very, very different than anything else that I have in my collection. Um, I wore this to, like I said, I wore it to work today, and I, I definitely found myself staring at it quite a bit. Now, with that being said, they do make, like I said, mentioned a couple different models, and um, some of the models they have are, let's see, as far as color combinations, it looks like you can get this watch with a black ceramic bezel with a black face. And an orange poly or uh, orange band. Of course, they have it looks like in a kind of a, like a baby blue or a turquoise. And then they have the bronze, which I think is just really my favorite of them. And then the 300 is the one that also interests me as well because the 300 is basically the same exact watch, but it's done in a 47 millimeter case with a 20 millimeter case height. So it's much larger. And you guys know I like larger watches, so that would have been a really great one to have. But nonetheless, I still think this is a fantastic. Very, very well-made, high-quality watch. And once again, that's by Aquadive. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put this watch on the wrist. Now, I weigh about 165 pounds. I'm about 5'7", and I have a 7-inch or seven inch wrist. So all these watches look pretty darn big on me. Um, even at 43 millimeters, it does not look to be a small watch. This is going to be what a standard watch would be. If you're a guy who's not into the oversized watches, 43, 45 millimeter is what a standard man's watch size would be. Let me get back a little bit there. Let's go ahead and turn on a little bit more lighting here, see if that helps a little bit. Eh, it really doesn't, but maybe a little bit. Just a really, really nice retro looking design. And let me try to turn this here without knocking anything over. Try to show you what looks like a little bit more of a distance here. Alright, there we go, folks. So, and like I said, this to me is just really, really a classic, uh, very, very retro-looking, high-end dive watch. 
Um, and as far as pricing on this one here, this can be had up, uh, off the website directly. Uh, it looks like most of their watches are about the same price. Uh, let me just double check one thing. Um, they do make several watches in an all black uh, style. Uh, they call it a DLC coating, which you're gonna pay more for. As far as the Bathy Scape, the 100s, um, they're roughly the same price, but you'll have to go to the website and check out which one you wanna get and which how much you wanna spend. This watch can be had right now off the website for, and we don't need a drum roll, but let's go ahead and take a look here. Because we are in the holiday season, you know, we, we never know what kind of sales they're having here. So this watch can be had right now off the website for $1,790. Um, that looks like, it looks like several of their models are actually in that price range. $1,790. Uh, if you want to get it with the with the mesh bracelet, you're looking at a little bit more, $1,990. If you want to get it in the, um, in what they consider their, I guess their, um, uh, this one came on there, they're called their isoframe strap. Uh, if you want to get it, yeah, they range in price, $1,790 to $2,600, depending on which one you get. I urge you to just check out the website and take a look at some of the different models they have. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, exceptional build quality, exceptional watch, and uh, definitely one for the collection if you're looking for more of a higher mid-luxury um, um, dive style watch. Uh, definitely, definitely feel a level of class on your wrist with this bad boy right here, not, not going to lie. All right, folks, so that's my initial review of the Aqua Dye Bathyscape 100. Uh, definitely check out the website. Um, I will do a re-review of this watch showing you what it looks like on the isoframe band, just so you have an accurate idea of what it looks like on this as well, on the wrist, uh, which is very important. Anytime you make a purchase, see what it looks like on a guy, um, my size, my height, and my weight. As always, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel, and remember to click that little bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. And uh, remember, if you want to pick this up, I'll put links in the description, not only to the company website, but where you can possibly get this on Amazon and eBay for the best price. So once again, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Aquadive, for your generosity. And as always, have a great day, folks. Take care.